So we took a look at the state of the tourism industry in South Africa at the moment yesterday, and we had Silafu uh, Sidu, who's chief executive at the Tourism Enterprise Partnership, uh, join us, saying that we're in a lull period right now. It's completely expected. What we're dealing with is a global economic slowdown and that having, having ramifications here. Uh, but growth in the sector is hard to ignore. It has come through over the past decade. What's your perspective on the state of the industry? I think we need to look at it um, realistically. And the, the previous um, speaker could have been talking about our industry and I think every other industry in the, the country and the world for that matter. Um, after the um, World Cup, we have positioned ourselves very well for future growth. What we're going through now is the changes of ownership and understanding the market, mm -hmm. which we've never had before. We've got more rooms, we've got less occupancy. Um, things are not doom and gloom, but we're gonna have to look at things differently. And the tourism enterprise program and people like that, developing the grassroots, the SMMEs and the local domestic tourism is vital to our future. If we have to be critical, to what extent uh, is what we're experiencing right now, uh, you know, a hangover from the World Cup that you touched on, an industry not being able to fully leverage off the opportunity that it possibly presented with it? I think that the World Cup protected us from joining the recession earlier, and I think that was for the whole country. Mm -hmm. So we are in the, the throes of what everyone else was experiencing. We thought we had actually um, skipped that whole episode. Um, so we're in that now. The, the management had everything continued as normal, would have been fine. The hotels are in a good position. So I think that we did the best we could um, for as long as we could. But the realism of actually joining the rest of the world is what kicked in um, after the July of 2010. And that's uh, something we've got to contend with now. Of course, South Africa is competing with other uh, you know, tourist uh, destinations globally and that for the consumer's wallet where the consumer is under extreme pressure, uh, being forced to come, become very penny wise. So just how competitive are we on that front? Or is South Africa pricing itself out of the market and out of the game? I think if we compare what you're getting here for what you would get overseas price-wise, I think we're still fine. The challenge is that we actually grew a tourism industry on an incredibly high standard of product. Mm -hmm. So the rooms are bigger, the finishes are better. So if you talk about a room in London and a room here, yes, we might be pricing ourselves out the market. If you say, what is a comparative room in London to here, then the answer is it's still very good value for money. On top of that, the long-haul destination. Um, but if we do start comparing ourselves long-haul destination with other places in the world, we do need to make sure that our whole package is done correctly and um, priced properly. What are some of the challenges to actually getting that right? I think just a realization that um, everything is changing. Um, the hotels can cost um, their, their price, you know, cut their pricing for as much as they can, but it gets to a point where it's no longer in our control. Um, most of the hotels are rented from property companies. Mm -hmm. So when do the property companies start realizing that there's also an, a challenge on the pricing to their tenants? Of course, when you talk about factors beyond our control, a stronger rent has been a factor to consider as well, uh, to an extent eroding our competitive uh, advantage with weakness coming through now. Just how much relief do you see that bringing to the sector and where things are so volatile? Surely it's a factor that our, our value proposition cannot, uh, you know, be solely dependent on? Again, tourism being a complex business, we've got our inbound and our outbound markets. So it affects them differently. When um, the rand is strong, everyone you know, is saying how, what good value we are. Um, but then the other way around, um, all of a sudden the tour operators start seeing the benefits of, of that because the 10 or 20% of the, the rand to the other exchange rates makes a huge difference. Are we focusing enough on domestic travel and enhancing that kind of scope within the industry? I don't think we've done nearly enough. I think we've got to grow um, this SMME base. We've got to find a way of making it possible for people to travel. And people actually have to start to travel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, first, the first place in mind has got to be where can I go in South Africa? Um, South African tourism with their short left campaign is driving that in a big way. And that again is around creating a value for money experience. Yeah. Um, lots of the campaigns have been a world in one country. And I don't think enough South Africans have seen um, the country itself. And um, that needs to change. 
How should we, if we're talking practicalities here, how should we be uh, motivating our value proposition? Because until recently, you know, Safari Wildlife, that brand that we could leverage off was very strong. But I was discussing with Salif yesterday, perhaps greater strides needs, need to be made in actually creating an alternative face for the traditional tourism experience in South Africa. We have to become more niche focused. There are things like the responsible tourism, um, adventure tourism. Those are things that people will do specifically they'll save up to do that trip they'll mm -hmm. do it because it feels good um, and we've got to just look at a new product that we start selling and um, we're doing it already um, through the Mvilo awards with Fedha so we see that the different entities are doing incredible projects but it's now getting that out to the people it's no longer the um, five-star game um, ranch but how can you come through and um, make the communities better live learn and um, deal with more responsible type of tourism practices